What is the normal range of intracranial pressure? Less than or equal to 15 millimeters of mercury. What are the major causes of elevated intracranial pressure? Brain tumor, bleeding, and traumatic brain injury with edema. What is your assessment? What is the therapeutic effect of phenytoin? This drug is an anticonvulsant. What is this a picture of? Tonic phase. What is the therapeutic effect of lorazepam? This drug is a benzodiazepine that can be used to stop seizure activity. What are important standard resuscitation techniques in a patient with elevated intracranial pressure? Head elevation, hyperventilation, and mannitol. What is this a picture of? Glasgow Coma Scale. What is your assessment? Glasgow Coma Score 3, calculated by adding the lowest score for each parameter. What is the therapeutic effect of mannitol? This drug is an osmotic diuretic. What position will be used for patients at risk for elevated intracranial pressure? The head of the bed should be elevated above the heart, usually 30 degrees, to increase venous outflow. What are signs of elevated intracranial pressure? Papilledema, bradycardia, hypertension, and respiratory depression. What is this a picture of? Clonic phase. What intravenous fluid should be administered in a patient with elevated intracranial pressure? An isotonic fluid, such as normal saline. What is this a picture of? An ischemic stroke. What are the three parameters evaluated for the Glasgow Coma Scale? Eye opening, verbal response, and motor response. What is this a picture of? Stroke. What is the optimal way to monitor blood pressure in a patient with elevated intracranial pressure? An arterial line. What should the serum osmolality level be in a patient with elevated intracranial pressure? Greater than 280 milliosmoles per liter. What should the cerebral perfusion pressure be in a patient with elevated intracranial pressure? greater than 60 millimeters of mercury. What is this a picture of? Monitor elevated intracranial pressure. What is the importance of anti-seizure therapy in a patient with elevated intracranial pressure? Seizures can complicate traumatic brain injury and increase intracranial pressure. What is the lowest total score that a patient can receive for the Glasgow Coma Scale? Three, calculated by adding the lowest score for each parameter. The nurse admits a patient with a history of generalized tonic-clonic seizures. What would the nurse expect to observe during the ictal phase in this patient? Involuntary muscle contractions, muscle stiffening, and loss of consciousness. The nurse is taking care of a patient who is in the post-ictal phase. What is the nursing priority in the assessment? Assessment of the patient's breathing, respiratory pattern, and ensuring the airway is open. A patient has suffered an ischemic stroke two and a half hours ago. What medication does the nurse expect that the patient will be evaluated for because the symptoms started less than three hours ago? TPA or Alteplase, a thrombolytic drug. What is the primary adverse effect in patients who receive TPA or Alteplase, a thrombolytic drug? Bleeding. What is the risk of lowering a patient's blood pressure who has had an ischemic stroke? Lowering the blood pressure too much or too rapidly interferes with the body's protective mechanism to provide cerebral perfusion. 
What is protamine sulfate? It is the anecdote for heparin. The nurse is admitting a stroke patient with dysphagia. What types of liquids are less likely to be aspirated? Liquids should be thickened. Patients may benefit from a swallowing study to determine how to proceed safely. What is this a picture of? The ictal phase. What electrolyte abnormality are patients on digoxin at risk for if they have renal insufficiency? Hyperkalemia. When can most patients resume three meals per day after partial gastrectomy surgery? Six to 12 months. What arrhythmias are associated with digoxin toxicity? Premature ventricular contractions, bradycardia, AV block, and others. What is the most appropriate recommendation that should be given to a patient that is the victim of spousal abuse? Provide the names of shelters and resources to ensure the victim's safety. Plavix is a medication given to prevent blood clots. What is its brand name? Clopidogrel. The nursing student asks the nurse care practitioner about prescribing for a patient with depression who also has insomnia. What does the NCP prescribe? Trazodone. When nitroglycerin acts on the blood vessels, what chemical relaxes and dilates smooth muscle? Nitric oxide. What is Plavix used to treat? Acute coronary syndrome, stroke, peripheral atherosclerosis, MI. What are the signs of laryngeal cancer? Persistent cough, hoarseness, earache, difficulty or painful swallowing. Where does bilirubin come from? The breakdown of red blood cells. What is a common daily dose of clopidogrel? 75 milligrams once a day. Why are angiotensin receptor blockers considered a cardiovascular drug? They are used to treat hypertension by inhibiting the function of angiotensin II by blocking the specific receptor. How do beta blockers produce their therapeutic effect? They are used to treat hypertension by blocking the adrenergic receptors. In a patient with sharp pain and a history of peptic ulcer disease, what should the nurse do? Suspect perforation, assess the patient, and contact the healthcare provider. What is the treatment of symptomatic hiatal hernia? Weight loss, medications, dietary restrictions, and when this fails, surgery. A patient with major depressive disorder reports her symptoms over the last three weeks. What does the nurse expect to document? What are important guidelines when using wrist restraints? Check the circulation every hour and evaluate the need for restraints. Secure restraints to the bed frame rather than the side rails. Weight loss, lack of desire to spend time with friends and family, lack of energy, poor appetite, lack of interest in activities. What are the adverse effects of frequent antacid use? Constipation, elevation of magnesium and aluminum in patients with renal failure. What positional changes can be made to reduce the risk of dumping? Reclining 30 minutes after eating. Which group of individuals may experience post-traumatic stress disorder? Military. Children living in regions at war. Assault victims. What dietary changes related to liquid intake during meals can be made to reduce dumping? Limit fluids during the meal to slow the transit of the food. What is the advantage of low Fowler's position after abdominal surgery? Low Fowler's position relaxes the abdominal muscles. The nurse is interviewing a patient with depression. 
What does the nurse expect the patient's record to document? Sleep disturbance, low self-esteem, poor appetite, low mood. This 23-year-old female is being assessed in the urgent care center, complaining of a racing heart, sweating, and shortness of breath. What is your assessment? Panic attack. What are predisposing risk factors for pneumonia? Smoking, immunosuppression, age, and poor nutritional status. A mother tells the nurse that his son was started on a tricyclic antidepressant for depression. What drugs does the nurse expect the record to show? Amitriptyline, doxepin, nortriptyline. What are the medications for the treatment of GERD? H2 receptor antagonists, such as cimetidine, famotidine, and ranitidine. PPIs, such as omeprazole and pantoprazole. The nurse is caring for a patient with bipolar disorder who is being treated with lithium. What is the appropriate therapeutic lithium blood level? 0 0.6 to 1.2 milliequivalents per liter. What sign should the nurse expect from a parent whose child recently died of SIDS 48 hours ago? Guilt. The patient tells the nurse he was prescribed a drug to treat depression that blocks the reuptake of serotonin in the brain. What drugs does the nurse expect the record to show? Citalopram, Flexitrine, Sertraline. What medication can be given to patients suspected of having acute digoxin intoxication who present to the emergency department within one to two hours of ingestion? Activated charcoal. When a patient has chest pain, how does nitroglycerin work? Dilation of the coronary arteries. Thank you very much for watching this video and learning with QBank Pro Academy.